Hello, my first grade friends. Um, I am starting a new book for you today. Um, I know we are reading a, um, a Judy Moody book, but I left it at school, so I couldn't continue that. But instead, I found um, a Mercy Watson book I have at home. It is called Mercy Watson Fights Crime. In this story, we meet a new character. We've met the uh, a police officer when Mercy went for a drive and got in trouble and was driving a little bit too fast and we've also met the fireman who um, came to the rescue when uh, Mr. and Mrs. Watson were in bed and the bed fell down remember when Mercy hopped on the bed she was a little bit too heavy so the bed went through the ceiling we met the fireman then and then we've also met their next door neighbors um, Eugenia and baby Lincoln uh, baby Lincoln is the nice sister, and uh, Eugenia Lincoln is the grumpy old lady who doesn't like Mercy very much. So, in this story, we meet a new um, a person by the name of Leroy Nanker. He is a little man who wants to be a cowboy. So, let's see what happens, okay? This is called Mercy Watson Fights Crime. Here's chapter one. Mr. Watson and Mrs. Watson have a pig named Mercy. Each night they sing the pig to sleep. Then they go to bed. Good night, my dear, said Mr. Watson. Good night, my darling, said Mrs. Watson. Wink, said Mercy. Most nights, Mr. and Mrs. Watson and Mercy all sleep soundly in their beds. But there was one night when they did not. So here is Mr. and Mrs. Watson in their bed. Here's Mercy in her own room on her own bed. Mm. Oh, here we go. Here we meet Leeway Nanker. Leeway Nanker was a small man. Look at, he's little. He was a small man with big dream. Leeway Nanker, he wanted to be a cowboy. But in the meantime, he was a thief. Not good. He was a thief in the kitchen at 54 Dekawu Drive. That is a Watson's home. Lee Roy Nanker was robbing the Watsons. Oh no, that's not good. yippee i yo saying Lee Roy. Everything must go. He grabbed hold of the toaster. He pulled it across the counter towards him. Screech, went the toaster. Shh. Leroy. He tossed the toaster into his bag. Clang! Went the toaster. Shh! Said Leroy again. Here he is pulling on the electrical cord. The toaster to go into his little bag. Chapter 3. That was a short chapter, wasn't it? Screech! Woo! Mercy woke up. Here he is. Or here she is. I'm sorry. Screech was the sound of a toaster made when it was being pulled across the kitchen counter. She sure knows that voice, is, uh, that noise, isn't she? Mercy loved toast. Her particular loved toast. Uh, she particularly loved toast with a great deal of butter on it. Mercy got out of bed. She pricked up her ears and she listened. Here she is. Her ears are pricked up. She's listening. She's like, huh, what is that noise I hear? Mercy heard Mr. Watson snoring. She heard Mrs. Watson snoring. Who was downstairs making toast? She went to the top of the stairs. She looked down into the darkness. Clang! went the toaster. Clang! was a sound a toaster made when Mrs. Watson turned it upside down to clean out all the crumbs. Somebody was making toast. Mercy went down the dark, dark stairs and she headed for the kitchen. Here she is, going down the stairs, one step at a time. Chapter 4 Leroy Nanker grabbed the blender. You see? Hmm. He grabbed the clock. He grabbed a cookie jar. Oh my goodness, he's taking everything. Yippee-i-o, he sang as he worked 
in you go. He grabbed the juicer. He grabbed the teapot. He grabbed the waffle iron. He's grabbing everything he sees in their kitchen. My goodness. Look at I like their cookie. The cookie jar. It's a little picky cookie jar. That's cute. And then Lee Wayne Anchor heard a noise. He turned around. Yippee I saying Leroy, uh oh. Yippee I uh oh. What is that? He sees Mercy Watson coming into the kitchen. Mercy looked around. She didn't see the toaster. She did not see the bread. She did not see any butter. Instead, Mercy saw a little man wearing a big hat. He was not making toast. Mercy was very disappointed. She was also very tired. She yawned. Oh, she's probably wondering, what did I wake up for? There's nothing on the counter. The toaster's gone. There's no bread. There's no butter. What's going on here? Oh, good pig, said the man. He nodded. Mercy laid down. She yawned again. Nice piggy, said the little man. Mercy closed her eyes. Yippee-yi-yo, -yi the little man say softly. Off to sleep you go. Look at Mercy fell asleep. Now she's snoring. I wonder what a snoring pig sounds like. Chapter 6. That bear, whispered Leroy, is a big pig. He reached into his shirt pocket. He pulled out a butter barrel candy. He unwrapped the candy and he put it in his mouth. Hmm, Leroy thought. It might be a good idea for this cowboy to hit the road. He's like, I gotta get out of here before this pig wakes up. He picked up his bag. He stopped. Ah, shucks, said Leroy. The pig was blocking his way. Here, Mercy, he can't go out there. There's no room to go around the pig, said Leroy. There's no room to go under the pig. Mm, I guess I gotta go over the pig. Leroy stepped forward. He flung one leg over the sleeping pig. The pig moved. Leroy Ninger froze. Uh-oh. I wonder what the pig is going to do. Chapter 7. Mercy woke up. Wink, she said. Easy now, said a voice. Mercy looked out of the corner of her eye. She's got her one eye open like this. The little man was on her back. Mercy stood up. Steady, girl, said the little man. Mercy shook herself. The little man slid forward. Whoa there, he said. Mercy smelled something. What was that? Mm, butter. Look at, there's Leroy sitting on Mercy Watson. She's ready to take him for a ride. Mm. Mercy looked around the kitchen. No bread, no toaster. But she definitely smelled butter. Maybe someone next to her was making sugar cookies. Wink, said Mercy. She galloped out the open door. She galloped towards the Lincoln sisters' house. yippee yo shouted Leroy and Anchor. Away we go! <laughs> Isn't that funny? Chapter 8. Upstairs at 54 Duckaloo Drive, Mrs. Watson woke up. Mr. Watson, she said. <clears throat> said Mr. Watson. Did you hear a noise? said Mrs. Watson. Oh, what sort of noise, dear? A yippee-i-o sort of noise, said Mr. W said Mrs. Watson. No, I did not hear a yippee-i-o sort of noise, said Mr. Watson. <laughs> you were dreaming, my dear. I was, said Mrs. Watson. You were, said Mr. Watson. Go back to sleep. Mrs. Watson got out of bed. I think I will go and check on Mercy, she said. And then I will go back to sleep. Oh, oh, oh excellent, mumbled Mr. Watson. A top-notch plan, my dear. Oh, 
Mr. Watson started to snore again. <laughs> he fell asleep. Oh, inside the Lincoln sister's house, baby Lincoln woke up. She went into her sister Eugenia's room. Sister, wake up, baby said. There is somebody outside shouting, yippee i -yo. Hmm, did you have pie before bed again, asked Eugenia. I did not, said baby. I think you did, said Eugenia. Oh, I did not, said baby. Go back to your room immediately, said Eugenia. Yes, sister, said baby. Baby went back to her room. She got into her bed. She heard another, yippee i -yo! Oh, dear, said baby. I wish I had not eaten that pie. Chapter 10. yippee i -yo! Baby, shouted Eugenia. Come back here immediately. Baby got out of bed. She went into Eugenia's room. Yes, sister, said baby. Uh, did you hear that noise, said Eugenia. Was that... A yippee yo sister. Oh, it was, said Eugenia. Oh, you were dreaming, said Baby. Nonsense, said Eugenia. Open the curtain. Baby opened the curtain. Together, the Lincoln sisters watched Mercy gallop across the lawn. They watched a little man on her back take his cowboy hat off and waved it over his head. yippee yo the little man shouted. Here's a picture. Here is Eugenia Lincoln and baby Lincoln looking out the window with Mercy and Leroy on his back. Him waving his little hat. You see? That pig is disturbing the peace, said Eugenia. And so is a cowboy riding her. I am calling the police. Oh, sister, said baby. Are you sure it's not a dream? It's a nightmare, said Eugenia. That is what it is. Okay, my friends, we are going to stop here, and we will continue the story next week. We will finish up our book and see what happens. Maybe Mercy caught the bad guy, Leroy and Anchor. Maybe the police come. Maybe the man falls off of Mercy. We don't know. We'll find out. So have a good week, and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.